Hello class, my name is Uche Martins. Welcome to Basic Science and Technology class. Today we'll be treating the topic metal work machines with the team tools, machines, and processes. Let's look at the objective of this lesson. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify the various types of metal work machines, state the uses and functions of these machines, and also outline the care and maintenance of metal work machines. What is metal working? Metal working is a process of making use of metals to create tools, implements, and different appliances. Metals like your iron, aluminum, when they are processed to make different tools and machines, we call that process metal working. Now, what are metal work machines? Metal work machines are machines usually powered by electricity that are used for processing metal works in a workshop. And we have different types of metal work machines in our workshop. They include our lathe machines, we have our drip press, planers, shapers, milling machines, grinding machines, broaching machines, we have our shearing machine, we have our hobbing machine, and also saw machines. Late machines. What are late machines used for? Late machines are used to hold and rotate metal work pieces about an axis in order to cut, null, drill, or turn the metal work piece to enable you design it to the required shape and size. You can see this is a lathe machine. This is where the metal workpiece is placed that will enable you to rotate it about its axis for you to be able to cut and design it to the required shape and size. Drip press. What is a drip press? A drill is different from a drip press. A drill is a machine tool made up of a cutting tool or driving tool used for boring holes in various materials, e.g. your wood and metals. While a drip press is a fixed style of drill powered by electricity that is usually mounted on a workbench. This is a diagram showing a drip press because it is fixed and mounted on a workbench, unlike your drill that is not fixed to a workbench. So we call a drill press a drill that is fixed to a workbench. Planers. Planers are metal work machines used for smoothening or planing rough surfaces of metal work pieces to produce flat surfaces. Assuming I have a very thick metal work and I want to plane or smoothen it to produce a very flat sheet, I'll make use of my planer. They are also used to trim metal work into desired thickness. You can see this is a thick metal work that is being planed using the planer in a workshop. Shapers. Shapers are metal work machines powered by electricity and used for shaping metal work into different sizes. If I want to shape my metal work into different sizes and shapes, I make use of my shapers. Milling machines. A milling machine is another good type of metal work machines. Milling machines are metal work machines used to perform different cutting activities, stroke style, on a piece of metal. It is also used to cut out undesired parts from a metal work. Now, you can see this diagram showing a milling machine with its cutting blade used for cutting different patterns on this metal work. So, and it's also used to cut out undesired parts from our metal work from this diagram. Let's take a look at another metal work machine called our grinding machines. 
Grinding meshes are similar to shapers, but they are used for sharpening the edges or surfaces of metal works, especially when they have become blunt. You can see this is the blade of the grinding machine used for sharpening the edges of this metal work. So when metal works like our shisu is blunt in the workshop, we make use of the grinding machine in sharpening the edges. Broaching machines. Broaching machines are machines made up of two-third parts or a brooch. They are used to remove undesired material from a metal work piece. Unlike your grinding machine that also removes undesired material and also sharpen blunt edges, broaching machines don't sharpen blunt edges. All they do is to remove undesired material from a metal workpiece. You can see the two-third part of this broaching machine, which is also called a brooch, used for removing undesired parts from this metal work piece. Sharing machines. Sharing machines are like planers, but they don't smoothen the surfaces of your metal work piece. Sharing machines are machines used for cutting metal work piece into sheets. That is the major difference between sharing machines and planers. Sharing machines shred or tear your metal work into different pieces or sheets. Hobbing machines. Hobby machines are metal work machines similar to myelin machines used for cutting metal works into different cutting styles. They are used for gear cutting, cutting splints, and cutting sprockets. The difference between hobby machines and myelin machines is hobby machines are specially designed to cut styles that fit our gears sprockets and splints saw machines saw machines are used for processing metal work pieces in a workshop and are classified into different kinds e.g our circular saw machine van saw machine and hacksaw machine let's look at circular saw machine Circular saws are saws made up of rotatory spinning abrasive discs or blade used for cutting metals and other materials. Circular saws cut metals accurately and straight because of its cutting teeth and edges. You can see this is a diagram showing our circular saw. This is the abrasive discs that spins and cuts through metals, and this is the motor powering the circular saw machine. Band saws. Band saws are saws with sharp blades. They possess continuous tooted metals used for cutting metal work piece. They also have the ability to cut irregular or curved shape metal materials. Bandsaw have the ability of cutting our metal into curved shapes because of their continuous tooted metal blades that is used for cutting metal work piece. Hacksaw. Hacksaw machines are metal work machines used for cutting out metal work into several pieces. They consist of a blade head with sharp edges. They are powered by electricity or electric motor. You can see this contains the electric motor powering the hacksaw and this is the cutting blade used for cutting metals. For these metal work machines to last longer, they must be properly maintained. Let's look at some care and maintenance of metal work machines. One, store tools and machines properly keep your tools in a cool and dry place that is your metal work machine should not be placed in a swampy or dampy environment 
then also learn to clean tools and machines before and after use. Inspect machine parts regularly. This will enable you no failed machine parts before and after use. Loose knots and bolts should be tightened at all times. Machines should be operated by literate operator. You must have a good knowledge of the metal work machine before making use of it in the workshop. In summary, metal work machines are machines usually powered by electricity that are used for processing metals in a workshop. Also, we learned that we have different types of metal work machines, which include shapers, planers, grinding machines, and also our drill press. For proper care and maintenance of machines, we must clean machines before and after use and also repair and replace faulty machine parts. Let's take some questions. Dash is used for sharpening the surfaces or edges of metal works. A. Planer. B. Shaper. C. Drip press. D. Grinding machine. The correct option is D. Grinding machine. It's used for sharpening the surfaces or edges of metal works. For holding and proper turning or rotating of metal work piece about its axis, we make use of dash A. Milling machine B. Late machine C. Drip press D. Grinding machine The correct option is B. Late machine We've come to the end of this class and we'll be able to see different types of metal work machines. See you in our next class.